Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are talking about an absolutely godlike plugin for the Unity game engine. Yeah, I'm going to keep doing those puns because today we are talking about Odin. And Odin is uh, one of the most popular plugins you can currently get for Unity. And even better, Odin is currently in the Humble Bundle that's running right now, the Unity Fantasy Games and Game Dev Assets Bundle. I said when this was released, I was going to go through and profile some of the uh, more interesting assets. And I'm going to start with the most requested and slash most popular one here, and that is Odin. And it basically boils down to Odin is 55 bucks. So if you like that on its own, it's the same price as the entire bundle. So you're going to get everything else here, including two games and a number of asset packs completely for free. So let's go jump in, take a look at what Odin is all about. But first, a bit of a uh, heads up thing. If you got this bundle, uh, the way it works is you get a humble key, a single key that you redeem on Unity. Once it is redeemed, this is where some people are getting confused. It actually gives you the assets to your org organization. And even if you're just a single person, you'll have an organization. And what you do is assign those assets to the user. So you, if you've redeemed the key and you're still not seeing the assets, head on over to id.unity.com and then log into your account. Head on over to the organization section locate your organization and go to asset management. Once you're there, uh, you can assign the assets to an individual person like you see I have done here. After that, it is exactly the same as if you'd bought it on the asset store. So as you can see here, uh, it literally shows that I bought it on the asset store. So Odin is one we're looking at. It is an inspector and serializer. Basically, it is a way of giving the Unity editor superpowers. You can sort of create custom tools and editors directly inside the inspector window really, really easily. And you can save your data even easier using their serialization tools. So that is at the heart of what Odin is all about. Now, one thing to really be aware of before we move on though, the asset store version of Odin, the version that you can get for $55 is revenue limited. So if you made more than $200,000 last year, uh, you actually need to get the enterprise version of Odin. So this is one of those things to be aware of. Most indie developers, not gonna matter, but uh, just something to be aware of. If you made a lot of money last year, this version, this $55 version of Odin is not for you. All right, so here we are inside of Unity with Odin installed. Installing it is super simple, by the way. Basically, just add it as uh, going to the package manager, search for it under My Assets. It should be located there. If it is not, by the way, do make sure you've assigned it to your user. Once you've got it, import it in. And then what you will find is a new tools menu was added with Odin Inspector. So you probably want to start with the getting started right there. I've opened up one of the custom drawer examples. It gives you kind of a, a simple idea of what Odin is all about. And isn't this exciting? This is Odin. <laughs> so you notice, change that, it dynamically updated that. Probably not the most exciting thing you've ever seen, but what it allows you to do is quickly and simply expose your data to uh, the Unity Inspector using simple attributes. And there are a ton of those attributes. We'll go back here to the getting started thing here, and we'll look at the attributes overview. You get an idea of the stuff and how well documented this is, by the way. You see here, you got a number of different ways of exposing data over to the inspector. So you can see here, if you wanna have um, a button, you can have new button groups, expose them out here, and it's simply a matter of adding a button tag or a button tag with an expression label in or a named button or a button that specifically calls a code or here you can see a number of attribute groups being tagged together. So a disabled toggle button horizontally split with the buttons here and then the code that is called when it is run. So that is kind of how um, Odin is set up. It's literally just a number of attributes you tag in your code and then they are exposed over here. And you can get some pretty elaborate examples. So for example, here, this code example actually creates Minesweeper. You got a grid of things. And that is essentially what Odin is all about. It makes the inspector, it makes it so you can expose your data easier to the inspector, but even better, there's serialization built in there so you can save and load your data super simply using Odin Serializer. But it gets way more powerful than that. And we'll look at this more elaborate example. And you can see, you can use Odin to create your own windows to create your own tooling. So imagine you were making your own RPG maker or RPG style game, and you needed tools to handle the data. So here you can see Odin has created a number of deities. You've got Thor, Odin, Loki, and Baldur defined here under the character section. Everything you see here, all of these windows, all of this GUI, all of the code, all of the data for saving the code, everything is provided by Odin. And you can use it to create a number of different interfaces. Here you see a slider control for controlling a number of a given range. Here you can see an icon picker. Uh, so I could select icons directly inside of there. Then we get into, I could pick a character and you can see here we've got 
uh, a grid of stats that we can again handle with sliding. We've got um, equipment that you can handle with drag and drop in here. We've got inventory again that can be handled by drag and drop. Go under the equipment. Here you can see again you have a number of different ways of handling it, sliders and so on. And all of this is being handled using Odin. So what you've done here is you've created a custom window. Go over here and we'll open up the script showing the RPG editor. And this is kind of power user Odin stuff. So instead of just instanting the inspector, we're creating a new window. And this is the code that was done. This is the editor window code to create everything you just saw. And that's all it takes. And you're gonna notice here when you're exposing data out, it's almost also again, a menu, you simply add in a menu item attribute. Um, so if you've got a number of different characters, you can add them in so forth. So let's see here, here is the character table. And you're gonna see here the character table, which we saw uh, earlier on here, so let's open the window up. The characters, this right here, is being controlled by this. And really all you're doing is, send, is hooking your data up, which is a list of characters, and you're saying, yep, make this into a table, and you can say how to serialize it as well, so how the data is actually saved. And then your table, you can set up how the rows are set, the width of them, uh, do I want to show things as progress bars that go between 0 and 100? So you can see here all of the values go from 0 to 100. That is all the code. This right here is the extent of what it takes to create this right here. So it's really, really simple. Here again, uh, items. Items are available. They're being stored as, so you can create a new data drawer here. Item is simply uh, an item data type. And then you, you just... It, it's again, super easy to expose things out. Item slot, same thing, super easy to expose things out. But this is getting into probably, again, the power level approach. What you're gonna be doing most of the time is simple uh, if you want to extend out um, and change the way things work. So here you can implement a right click menu, simple enough, uh, but you're just tagging things with these attributes. And the nice thing you're gonna find with Odin is it's very, very well documented. So if you're creating a table, here is a table example. You can see it actually running here and what it's doing. And down here, you can see the simple way of controlling it. And literally almost every time, it's just a matter of defining an attribute with some properties. I think there's some over, there's over 100 attributes declared in Odin. And that's the extent of it. You don't need to change your code. This will work with your own custom inspectors, by the way. So it shouldn't break your existing code either. It just makes it easier for you to expose data to uh, Unity, either the default inspector or by creating your own inspector windows that, like you saw uh, in that other example. And then you're just exposing the data out using a series of attributes. So you can see how if you need to create your own custom editors or uh, you know character creators, that kind of stuff, Odin makes that ultra, ultra easy. And that's that's kind of the idea here. And then, of course, once you've created data, you're going to want to save it. And that is where Odin Serializer comes in, which is, of course, part of the Odin Data Inspector and Serializer. And then on top of that, there are also some tools for actually analyzing the data in your scene. So we've got things like the Static Inspector, uh, where you can look at the data as it lives. And yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. So this is uh, Odin Inspector. Um, it's not the flashiest thing like you might see, you know, with a, a modeling pack or an asset pack, because this one is all about improving workflow. But I think you'll see in the uh, this example really kind of showcases it. The RPG editor example, uh, this um, this kind of tooling to create, you know, in-game characters, in-game items. Um, you could have it for doing uh, dialogues, whatever else you need. The fact that you can create tools like this and entire windows like this in just like a handful of lines of code uh, using um, Odin, that is where the real power comes in. So if you've got uh, the ability to manipulate data, and let's be honest, most games are made of data. It's, it's just the nature of the beast. Instead of having to create your own custom inspector stuff, Odin takes care of most of that for you. And if it's a simple thing, you just want to expose some data from your script, use simple attributes. Uh, the, the, again, there's a, like 100 plus custom ones that they've implemented in Odin. And then if you want to create more complex tooling, as you see from this example, it's not hard at all. So that there is Odin. Again, part of the Humble Bundle. Uh, what is this called? The uh, Fantasy Games and Game Dev Assets Bundle. I will throw the link for this down below. If you use my link, it uh, gives you the option of directing a portion of your purchase to support Game from Scratch, which, by the way, if you do that, thank you so very much. Uh, there is, uh, let's see, 11 days remaining in this bundle. I'm going to be covering a handful more of these assets, specifically RPG Builder for sure, 
Octave 3D and Node Canvas, I believe. But if there's something else here specifically that you want to see covered before this bundle ends, uh, please do let me know and I will try my best. You will notice from the pricing here, if there is generally a single item of interest. So for example, Odin is 55 bucks in the asset store and legit is 55 bucks in the asset store. Those are not fake pricing. You'll see that's the actual price of it. Uh, if you buy a single asset here, the entire bundle is basically free. So it's a huge deal. And if you'll notice from RPG Builder, uh, some of these are really good pricing. So I'm going to definitely cover that one, let you know what you get out of it as well. But if there's something else you specifically want to see, maybe the UMMO RPG asset, uh, do let me know. Another thing to be aware of, this isn't old crap versions of things. Uh, you're going to notice Odin Inspector, for example, that we're here, Inspector and Serializer. So I guess I should keep in mind, it does save data as well. Uh, it is updated frequently. So what you're going to see here, version 2.1 was released, I think in August. Um, so, okay, that the documentation is showing two years ago. Uh, where is the most recent release? I checked this right before I did the video. I always forget where it is. Uh, releases, duh. All right, so you can see here, the last release here was August the 31st. So that was uh, five days ago. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that's uh, definitely add an upside to this. You're getting a very much supported asset. You're going to want to check that with any particular asset. Make sure that it's still being updated. Uh, but for the most part, everything in this bundle does seem to be pretty current from my experience. But if you found an exception, please do let me know. Comments down below and let me know what you think. So again, I'm going to be covering more and more in the Humble Bundle. I, again, if you're not a Unity developer, I apologize. This is going to be a pretty Unity heavy month on the channel because of this. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, Unreal Engine, I'll talk to you on Tuesday. Remember that? So anyways, that is Odin Inspector in Serializer, it's one of those things that just changes the plumbing, and those are always kind of a little bit dull to watch, but really game-changing to actually use. And if you're working with data in Unreal Engine, or sorry, in um, the Unity game engine, Odin is, it's a great tool, and there's a reason why so many people were excited by it. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.